Hi, I'm Lewis, and I'm the artist, sound designer, and many other things in our two-man team, Mildly Competent Games. In Seaworthy, we wanted to give you the experience of what it's like to be a pirate captain as you build up a crew, capture and plunder other ships, and sail the seas in a journey to restore a cursed pirate treasure. You'll be exploring a procedurally generated world filled with vying factions, all looking to carve out a chunk of the seas for themselves. Like Sid Meier's Pirates, you have the freedom to choose between friends and foes, but our mystical world will be more interwoven, and it won't always be clear how factions will react to your decisions. Capturing a merchant ship would hurt your relations, but what if that merchant ship was part of a revolutionary group? The Royal Guard would thank you for your efforts, and additional quest lines to deal with the revolutionaries would now be available. We want to keep the narrative interesting every playthrough, so we're taking after King of Dragon Pass and making a wide variety of deep encounters. The world will remember your decisions, so think twice before you help that slave uprising, or sign on wanted fugitives to your crew. FTL inspired us to focus on crew and ship management. We also took our inspiration from the film Master and Commander in showing the brutal truth of naval combat in the Age of Sail. As the captain, you command your men where to go and what to do, in addition to setting targets in your ship's course. You have a number of options during battle, but you have to be decisive. You can sink your enemy quickly if you shoot at its underwater sections, but you'll lose most of the rewards. If you want to board the enemy, you'll have to disable their sails or have a faster ship in order to get close enough. Whatever your decision, if you can wipe out the enemy crew or force them to surrender, you can take the ship for yourself. Every ship has its unique characteristics, and there will be a number of upgrades ranging from different hulls to figureheads to sails. Every officer can learn active and passive abilities as you gain experience, and they can equip items that will provide for different effects. We want to ensure that all our options will be viable, because you should be able to play how you want, not just by one or two strategies. The framework for Seaworthy is in place, but we still have a long way left to go. We need to finish with the animations and art for boarding combat. We need to create a ton of content in the form of more ships, items, creatures, and encounters. We have to go over and polish all the art assets, and we need to figure out how we'll put together a soundtrack. We're just two people. We spent the last year of our time and savings to get to our current point. But now we don't have any more money to fund our vision. This is where you come in. If you help us fund the game, you can get a copy of Seaworthy for a Kickstarter-only price of $10. The money we get will go to the various costs of operating a small indie game studio. This includes business and legal expenses, art, music, software licenses, and the cost of living for our two-man team to work full-time on development. By trade, we're both programmers, and we've been juggling a tower of hats as many other indie developers know. I'm not a professional artist, and while sound design has been a hobby of mine, I'm not the best at it. If we pass our funding amount, we would be able to afford bringing on more people to add polish. But what we're asking for right now is the minimum to make the game. It'll be tight living, but we're doing what we love and we're staying true to our artistic intent, so it's okay. If you like what we're doing and would like to see Seaworthy become a reality, please support us on Kickstarter and spread the word wherever you can. We need all your help if we're going to make it. Together, Seaworthy can be a great game.